Now I would like to give you some information about bone nails. Intramedullary nails, like bone nails, are driven into the marrow for long bones to treat fractures from within the bone. This usually takes place in splitter fractures or when bone plate stabilization is not possible. The bone nail provides strength and stability in the longitude axis, while rotation stability is achieved by screwing locking pins through the bone into the nail. This ensures stable and rapid healing for the fracture within six to nine months. As you can see here, we have a wide range of different kinds of bone nails. Depends of the manufacturer, we have here special pockets or locking holes for the screws to fix the bone nail into the bone. Mike, what can you say about the TNL32? Okay, so the TNL32 is a larger brother of the same style of machine that we talked about, the TNL20-9. So it allows for simultaneous machining with up to three tools. Uh, it's easy and quick changeover utilizing the same style of turrets. It also has a B-axis upper turret available on that. Uh, clearly structured work area with large axis travels, uh, allowing operators to be able to get in there, change tools, change over between jobs, and be extremely flexible. And once again, as we talked about, it's a very thermal symmetric design, allowing for almost zero thermal growth through the course of manufacturing throughout the day. You can see here the kinematics of the TNL32. Uh, you once again have the upper and lower turrets. You have a traditional um, sliding headstock style of machine. And we also can convert that to a fixed headstock style of machine uh, if your parts require it. So you can go from a fixed to a sliding headstock with a very simple conversion and maintaining three tools in the cut throughout that. 10 stations per turret, three tools per station, 30 tools in each of the turrets. So 60 tools between the upper and lower turret. Uh, you have that same high speed uh, rotation of that turret allowing for 0.3 seconds chip to chip and driven tools at every station. Coolant supplies, as we talked about before, are still available and extremely large tool through the use of the multi-tool holders. So you have very efficient, high cutting performance. It can be equipped with a front working attachment, which would allow you to get up to four tools in the cut uh, on specific parts. You have Y-axis function on all three of those stations, so the upper turret, lower turret, and the um, front working attachment. You can have four additional stationary tools plus four additional live tools in that and high pressure coolant throughout that. And when necessary, you can utilize this for uh, tail stock functioning uh, for outrun support of long parts. When we talk about the TNL 32B style machine, uh, with a back working attachment, you can have up to eight tool stations. Unique drive schemes offer high speeds or high torque. You can set that up for the type of material that you're running. And then you have an integrated workpiece discharge. You can do that by gri gripper uh, or by running it out the sub spindle. Uh, when you're talking about bone nails, you're going to go through one spindle out the other. And an internal coolant supply allowing for uh, high pressure coolant to any tool station at any time. So we're going to show you the manufacturing process on a bone nail that's out of nine millimeter bar and 220 millimeters of length. It's 543 seconds and this is manufactured on our TNL 32. Mm -hmm. 